We're off, we're off, we're off and running, we're off and running. We've had two dabs out. I don't know if the bottom one's going to be 18, but the top one is a fair size. But my God, he's took that hook right down. Right, let's try and get these unhooked and we get them in my bucket and we get them measured up. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, the 14th of April. Competition day today. Um, I mentioned on yesterday's video, I don't know how many people have seen it. Obviously, the video only went on at 6 o'clock last night. So I doubt that many people have actually watched yesterday's video. But on yesterday's video, I was mentioning, I entered myself into a little competition. So Galston Tackle Centre, which is a pretty local tackle shot to myself, uh, they run a little competition. I believe it's every two weeks. And it's only a little friendly get together just for locals. It's just all the locals that will come together, have a chat, have a meet up, have a catch up, do a bit of fishing. And while they're doing that, have a little competition as well, make it a bit more interesting. Um, so that's all it is. So it's not like a big, big, big competition. I believe when I spoke to Kyle on Saturday, Friday, Friday, Friday. Um, I think he said there was about 20 people. So there might be a couple more by now, but I think there's only about 20 people in the competition. But still, it's still good. I like fishing competitions. You get to speak to a lot of experienced anglers. You learn loads of different things, loads of new things. I've learned loads of stuff by speaking to people at competitions, the way they fish differently, do things differently. Um, that's my washing machine just finished. That's what I've been waiting for. I'm waiting for the washing machine to finish so I can put all the clothes on the air so I can leave. Um, so yeah, I believe the competition is 10 o'clock until three o'clock. Um, when you get there, he's gonna give you a bit of paper, you get the size charts, the conversions. I think anything over 18 centimeters counts. Um, obviously they're not keepers, you can't, like, obviously the keeper sizes are keeper sizes. I think white and it gotta be over 27, but anything else, if it's over 18 centimeters, you will get points for it, which is quite good, because a lot of my fish are, uh, yeah, under 18 centimeters, so that's quite handy for me. So, yeah, like I say, we're getting there, we're getting meeting up. Um, I'm only really gonna be f filming myself doing my fishing and my catching. Obviously there's 20 other guys there, not everyone likes being on camera, not everyone likes being on YouTube. People don't like doing something and next thing they know they've got a camera shoved in their face. Oh, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? So I'm really just going to be more filming myself and what I'm doing and how I'm getting on in the competition. Um, I doubt I'm going to come anywhere. I know a few of the boys down there today that are fishing and some of them are top, top anglers. I've fished competitions with some of them guys before and it's just incredible watching them. The speed they work, the amount of fish they reel in, it's like, whoa, do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to come anywhere. It's just literally a fun day. Um, I think it's £10 to enter and then obviously the winnings, I think the winnings gets divided up first, second, third. Like I say, I've not fished one of these, they've been running them since I think around Christmas time, but I've not been down there. Like I say, I normally work weekends, first weekend I've had off. Right, let's get this washing out, let's get it on the air and I will see you when I'm down in Pakefield and let's just see how we get on, let's see what happens. Right, I'll see you down there guys. Well, here we are, just arrived. Where we're going to be fishing today? Uh, quite a few anglers. Got what? One, two, three. This guy next to me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God, they go right away up the beach, and there's still a few up there bringing their stuff down. Um, yeah, surprisingly, quite a few of them actually recognise me. They're like, oh, "Are you filming today? Are you filming today?" Um, yeah, surprised how many are actually sort of recognising me. Uh, I said I am filming, but obviously I'm not going to put everyone on camera. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone likes being camera shoved in their face. So I feel we've still got plenty of time. I think it starts at 10 o'clock. It is now 10 to 9. So I've got an hour to get everything set up. Um, yeah, that's my plan then. Right, let's go start getting some bits set up and uh, come back to you in a bit. A bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. I always am nervous when I fish these things. There's so many people here that know what they're doing. and. I go fishing, the people comment on my page and they're like, oh, you're a good fisherman, you're this, you're that. But it's when you fish things like this that you realise what an amateur fisherman you actually are when you start looking around and seeing what people are doing. I'll tell you. Right, let's start getting set up. Right, well, I'm just starting to get myself set up now. I've got beach shelter set up, I'm all in there. Uh, bait's still wrapped up, I've still got it in there. I've got my points card, Kyle was giving me that. So I've got my uh, points conversion chart there. I've got my sheet there to write what I'm catching down, get it signed off by a guy. Um, like I say, quite a few down here. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, mate, there must be about eight or so people to my left. And you look up there to the right, mate, there's about 20 odd people up there, up that way. Um, everyone's saying water's looking perfect for a few rays, a few bass. Oh, what we could do, see what we're doing, innit? Um, so, what I'm starting with, I've got three hook flappers. 
you're allowed a maximum of three hooks and one rod in the competition. So we're going to have two hooks above and we're having one hook below. And I've got a spare trace hanging up on my tripod there, which is going to be baited up ready. So as soon as I catch, straight off in the bucket, get this one out and then measure, mess around getting that measured up and weighed up. How you doing mate, you right? And then mess around getting that one all uh, measured up. Um, that's the plan for today. I've been nervous, man, there's on top. I know a few of these boys that are down here and they are some top anglers down here today. Some top anglers, man. But it's all for the fun. Do you know what? I know I'm, I ain't gonna come nowhere. I've done it before. I've like finished today and I'm like, oh, I've got 230 points, blah, blah, blah. And you get up the top for like the weigh-in and there's people up there and they've got like 600, 700 points and you're just like, man, like what the? <laughs> oh, mate, it's just how it goes. I wanna get my cap on in a bit. Sun is directly beaming down on my face. Um, yeah, like I say, it's still got about half hour, so yeah, so I'm gonna keep the bait still wrapped up because you've got a nice block in there, keep it fresh for a bit longer. Um, yeah, I wanna get both traces baited up. And yeah, like I say, it just be a matter of as soon as that one, if I've got a fish on it, unhook it, straight in the bucket, hook the new one up that's all baited up ready, cast that one straight out, then there's bait in the water the whole time. Then I can mess around, going next door, getting these measured up, getting them written down, getting them off, throwing them back in, hang that trace up, get a fresh bait on that one, and then when that one catches, do the same. Bring that in, fish off. So that way you're keeping bait in the water constantly. You've constantly got water, water. You've constantly got bait in the water. That's the thing with the competitions. You need bait in the water the whole time to be catching the fish. Uh, and a lot of people saying they've got peeler crabs, things like that. I've got blacks, I've got squid, and I've got mackerel. And yeah, people down here, they've got peeler crab and all sorts going on. But like I was saying, yeah, they reckon the water's looking good for a few rays, a few bass. We just see what happens, man. <laughs> we just see what happens. Let's see if I'm as lucky as I was yesterday on the Grand National. Hey! I was really on the camera yesterday and I was saying to everyone that I never win on the Grand National. Uh, one of my horses came second and I had an each way bet on him. And I worked it out and I think I've got about £20, £22 to come back off that horse. So let's hope fishing is as good as the horse racing. <laughs> Right, it's about 10 to 10, so we've got 10 minutes until this competition kicks off. So yeah, free hook flapper on the left-hand side. On this bottom hook, we have got some squid. On the middle hook, we have got some sorted mackerel. And then on the top hook, we have got some blacks. And then this trace here is all made up, ready to go for when that one comes in. Again, squid on the bottom, mackerel, and a bit of black on there. Um, like I say, that is all the bait I've got today. That is all I'm using chatting to one or two guys and like I say they've got a uh, peer the crab etc blah 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 obviously fresh lug yellow towels <laughs> well we just see we just see what happens you never know do you like I say all it takes is a couple of nice bass to come out a nice ray something like that and that's it isn't it so this is the worst bit now everyone's all baited up everyone's rods are all ready everyone's ready for the off it's just the sitting around now waiting for that 10 o'clock mark um tide is on the way up I believe high tide is about two o'clock. So we've got four hours of this tide coming in. We get the high tide at two. By the time the tide starts turning, half two-ish. So we get about half hour of that tide going out. Competition finishes at three. So we've got five hours of fishing. Let's just see what happens. Let's <laughs> see how we get on. Right, that is it, 10 o'clock. We've all casted out, everyone is out there. You watch, I'll be watching that for about 10, 15 minutes. They'll be doing nothing. I'll be looking up and down the beach and I'll be seeing people putting white out and dabs out and... <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, we've already been out there for about 10 minutes and uh, there was a little bit of knocking going on. So I reeled it in and I had a white in on there, but white in have to be 27 um minimum 
and that whiting I pulled out was about 10 centimeters. <laughs> so I've just put the new trace on with the fresh bait, thrown that back out, uh, mate to the left of me, he just pulled out a whiting, again, tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, two guys to the right, he pulled out a dab. Um, it must have been over 18 because I saw him go up to the other guy and he's got it written down and he's got it measured up. So he's obviously off the mark. He is off the mark. But, uh, Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me some points. I just want to get some points written down. Well, I think I might be on here to sound decent. It looked like a decent knock. Uh, that guy I pulled a dab out. He's just pulled another dab out. I'll just put my stand that way. Just put my camera down. Uh, he just pulled another dab out. And again, it looked over 18 centimetres. So I think he's going to have two fish written down on his scorecard. My rod had a good little bounce a second ago. It looked like a decent bite. Come on, come on. Get me off the mark. Get me on that scorecard. Get some points down. And like I say, it's bad we do the competition because like I say, there's about 20 or 5 odd people to the right of me. People tell you, you ain't got a clue what they're catching up there, what's coming out. You ain't got a clue what they're all getting out up there. murmuring a little bit but I say that knock a minute ago it was a decent knock now it just seems to be having a little and like I say there's three hooks on there so even if you get a white in or a dab or something on one of the hooks that fish in distress would attract other fish and there's other hooks on there that they could jump onto Well, I'm going to keep an eye on that anyway. If it gets another little decent knock again, we'll, uh, we'll have it in and we'll see what's going on. Well, the guy to the left of me, he's just come up and brought two fish up. He had a 28 centimetre white, and I think it was, and a 24 centimetre dab. So he's got points. He's on the scorecard. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Give me some points. We're off, we're off, we're off and running, we're off and running, we've had two dabs out. I don't know if the bottom one's going to be 18, but the top one is a fair size. But my god, he's took that hook right down. Right, let's try and get these unhooked and we get them in my bucket and we get them measured up. Hey, we're off and running, we've got some points down. So my dab that was 24 was worth 14 points and my dab that was 18 was worth 5 points. So that's given me a total running of 19 points. Uh, cast back out, straight back out in the water. I've put fresh bait on that one that's hanging up. So the same again, as soon as that comes off, they go straight in the back here. Oh, we're biting again, right hand side. That was a good knock. That's the film of competition, and it? It's so like, it's so full on. By the time you've gone up to see matey, got them written down, come back, put fresh bait on, you sit down and the rod's going again. And then it's just the whole system all over again. Reared it in, get the fish off, get them weighed. It's just, it's just constant, constant. It's gonna tire me out today. I think I might need a beer by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, at least we got some points. At least we got some points. Nothing better than coming down and getting no points at all. That would be absolutely terrible. But we're off and running. Well, it sounds like the Grand National again. We're off and running. Oh, I just had a bite, a really good bite. And I mean, it was a really good bite. Uh, struck it, started reeling in. As soon as I was reeling in, you could feel the sound heavy on there. It got about 10 yards out. Got snagged up or something. Where he got snagged on, I don't know. Like I say, I've had a couple of casts now and I've been reading in absolutely fine. Literally 10 yards out, got snagged, trying to de-snag it, blah, 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 lost it, line just went, oh my days. So I had to quickly throw another reel on that's got all shock leader on it, get that through, that trace that was already made up, get that on there, throw that out. I then had to get another trace out of my box and hang that on the tripod and put bait on that one. Um, I've got people to the left of me catching fish, people to the right of me, everyone's catching fish left, right and centre all around me. And I've had those two dabs and just spent about five minutes trying to sort all that business out. Right, right hand side again. Now I'm worried if I reel in, am I going to get caught on that same snag or am I going to bring that snag in with me? Is it going to go again? that knocks again we'll have that but again that was a good bite there 
And all I can do now is hope that when I bring it in, I don't get caught on my line and all that that's already out there that I just lost and on the snag that's out there. Right, that one came in fine. Thank God for that, nice size dab as well. Right, it's 11 o'clock, been fishing for one hour. Uh, that dab I just had out was 23 centimeters, they gave me 12 points. That's put me on a running total of 31 points. Um, nowhere near what some of these guys are on. That guy next to me, mate, he's had about three whiting out, about four dabs, five dabs, three pouting. Guy to the right of me, he's had five, six dabs out, whiting. Oh, like I say, I'm definitely a fish or two fish behind because of that bloody snag. But then I reeled in that time, got caught no snag at all that time. It just reeled straight in first time. So I don't know. I mean, I did go a little bit. The guy to the right of me goes, you know what? There's quite a bit of space between us. And he goes, mate, if there's a snag there and you're getting caught up, he goes, just move up towards me, mate. He goes, like, we're both casting out in a straight line. It's not windy. It's not choppy. We're not going to get... But like I say, I reeled in where it was. And luckily, it reeled in absolutely fine and didn't get caught on anything. So... Fingers crossed. Oh, another bite. I'll tell you what, man, it is hectic down here today. It's non stop. I'll say, as soon as you get a fish off, you get the new bait out, you go up, you get it measured up, you come back, put bait on. By the time you sit down, spoke to you guys about 30 seconds, and the rod is knocking again. And it is hot as well. The sun is out. That's why I'm glad I bought the beach shower. This is going to give me a nice bit of shade today, that's for sure. Oh, what time's the pub open? I could do with a beer. <laughs> oh, I've just pulled out another two dabs. And I'll tell you what, the bottom one looks like a right fat boy. Look at them two. Fat boy there and a right fat boy down the bottom. Right, let's get these off. Well, the guy to the left of me just had two more fish out. Um, I'm on 59 points. Um, he's on 111 points, the guy to the left of me. So I'm right, yeah, 50 or points behind him. <laughs> but Joe, you know what? Uh, two more dabs, 25 centimeter ones. They're worth what? They're, 16 points each that's another do you know what i mean get two 25 centimeter dabs out that's 30 points there isn't it 32 points so could catch up uh mate you're on the right he's now reeling in oh i just want to start i don't want to talk it up because i don't want to get but just don't want to get caught on that snag whatever it is out there when i'm reeling in now i'm reeling in really fast just rapid reeling trying to keep that bottom hook off the bottom of the seabed as much as i can that's all I can do. What's he pulling out? We're going to see what he pulls out to the right of me. But yeah, like I say, that guy's here left of me. He's on 50 or points in front of me. There's probably people up this beach that are on 100 points in front of me. Do you know what I mean? Just need to start getting some big dabs and some big whiting out. Well, I just pulled out a nice, fat, chunky boy whiting. Look at him, mate. Look. Oh, mate, he's, they've got to be over 27. He's blatantly over 27. Right, let's get him off and get him in the bucket. See, that's what I was saying. A few of those big fish bring the points up a bit. That uh, whiting, 30 centimetres, it was worth 20 points. So that's put me on 79 now, do you know what I mean? I'm only 30 behind that 100 mark. That's all it takes. Right, Rod's knocking again. Man, this is non-stop down here, mate. Non-stop. First pouting of the day. The guy next to me has had quite a few pouting out. That's my first pouting I've had out today. There's only hooks in the top there. Um, then it's got to be over 18. I think he's going to be over 18 centimetres, that's for sure. Right, get him in the bucket. New trace is already hooked up, already gone out. Go on, mate. Oh, man, he's got some life in him. He's splashing me up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's got some life, he's kicking about. Yeah, he's over the, he's over 18. Right, I'll take him next door, I'll get him measured up. Get him written down. Right, it's 12 o'clock, so we've been fishing for two hours. Um, so yeah, that pouting iron out. Although it was 20 centimetres, it was only worth 10 points. So that's put me on 89. I just pulled out two white in, 
but they weren't 27s. I think one was about 16, 17, one was about 20. Tiny little things. If they'd have been both 27s, that would have put me well over my 100 point mark, blatantly. Um, I'm on 89 points now, 90 points. Another sizable fish, and that put me over 100 points, that's for sure. Um, but it's going to take some going to catch up. Like I say, and I'm only knowing the scores of the guys sort of kind of left and to the right of me. God knows what's going on up the top end of that beach or down the bottom end of the beach down there. There could be all sorts coming out. You just don't know. There could be a vey come out, there could be a bass come out, there could be, pff, who knows? Who knows? Right, come on, give me some more sizable fish. Let me get my points up. Well, I just had another dab out and a whiting out. Um, I didn't film it, that's some bloody geezer up here, all chit-chatting, talking. And I'm like, mate, I'm, trying to, I'm on a bloody competition here. And I'm catching the fish. He's like, oh, show me that. I ain't got time to show you the fish, mate. I need to get them in the bucket, get them measured up, get them off. <laughs> anyway, we had a dab that was 23 and a white and it was 27. So that's put me on 115 points. So I've broke the 100 point mark. Uh, but mate, he's to the left of me. I think he's on 165 points. So he's still at 60 or points in front of me. Uh, tide is racing up a bit. Next time I reel in, I'm going to move that tripod back a bit. Um, it's not even got high tide until two o'clock. And it is now what? 10 past, we've got two hours till high tide. That's gonna come up a fair bit, I reckon. Hopefully I'm all up where I am, I should be. I mean, I'm in line with everyone else. Everyone's in the same sort of line where I am, so I should be okay. Oh, so yeah, I'm 60. I know it's competition for the whole beach, but at the moment, I'm just kind of in competition with the guy. Look at this wave coming in, that's a bit of a rogue one. Ah, oh, that's because that boat's gone past. So we've got the lifeboat that's doing some drill exercises out there. And although, even though he's all the way out there, he's not caused a wake, I tell you. Blimey. Uh, yeah, so although like, obviously I'm in a competition with everyone on the beach, at the moment I'm just in a competition with the guy to the left of me, because I know he's 60 or points in front of me. <laughs> but uh, I keep saying it, two big sized fish, and that giving him 60 points, and that put me up level where he is. That's all it takes. Oh, I've just pulled a white fat boy white in. Oh my god, he is well over 27. Um, look at him. I've got a dab on the bottom. I don't know if it's going to be 18 though. Oh, I doubt very much this little dab's going to be 18. But the white in. Definitely going to be 27. What's the dab? Oh. I think he is. I think he's just touching the 18 mark. Just touching it. Um, right, let's get this whitening off. Oh, mate, he is a fat boy. Look at him. Oh, fatty, fatty. What's he saying? 30. Look at that, mate. He's saying 30. Right, let's take this to mate you next door and we get him written up. Yeah, that was all good. That dab be weighed up 18 centimetres, but he was only worth five points. But the white in a 30 centimetres was worth 20 points. So that put me on 140. So I thought, oh my God, quality. I'm only like 20 points behind the guy next door. Then he's just come up with another two dabs. He's over 200 points now. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know what? If I didn't get stagged and lose that trace, that's kind of what it's done. It's put me two fish behind the whole time. I'm at two, three fish behind. And if I didn't get snagged earlier and lose that trace and I had them two fish on there when I reeled it in, I would be, oh, bloody spider in my face. Uh, yeah, I would be on point with him. But literally, just because of that, that's what's put me that behind. Right, tide is racing in. I've moved my rods back to there. Still got bloody two hours yet till high tide though. Oh, I should be all right. We should be all right here. It's literally, and look, I've sat down and the top of that rod is bouncing already. As soon as I've sat down. Oh, can you hear all that? Look, it's cut the guys out there on jet skis. That's the life, in it? I might have to speak to G and Jordan and uh, talk about selling the boat and buying ourselves some jet skis. <laughs> we'll be out in the boat soon as well. We're going, we're going there Tuesday, give it all the clean up because it's got all our gear and all the rest of it all over it from over the winter. We've got a mechanic coming out next Saturday. He's coming to do the final bits to the engine. Once he's been out, that's it. We are up and running. Uh, we just got to fit that new antenna to the VHF radio. So we've got boat to shore radio. Uh, we can then take that out to sea and go fishing. 
Obviously, we can use it on the broads any day, but on a nice day like this, we can definitely take that out and do a bit of fishing out at sea. And I cannot wait. I can't wait. Right, I can't believe that rod's knocking already as well. Look, I'm gonna give it a second though. Like I say, it's three hooks on there. If there's one fish on there, I'll give it a second, just see if anything else gets hooked up. <sighs> I am worn out. Well, it's just gone one o'clock. So we've got another hour till high tide. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, that tide ain't far off my rod there. Look at that wave coming up there, look. Um, another hour till high tide, another two hours of the competition. I've had another whiting out that was 30 centimetres. And that now puts me on 166 points. So that's my aim now. Let's get above the 200 points. Let's get above the 200. He's on 230, I think, next door to me. And he's reeling in now. He's having a reel in. The last few card, well that last one I had was only one white in. He's still kind of bringing out two at a time. So if you're bringing out two at a time, you're getting sort of 50, 60 points each time as opposed to 30 points. But that trace hanging up is all baited up, ready. Fresh bait has gone out in the water. Oh, he's just pulled another white in up the beach. And that looks like that's going to be over 27. So... It won't be long and I'll be hearing his little footsteps walking up towards me to get that written down. <laughs> right, that's my aim now. Come on, let's get above the 200 points. That rod just knocks like you wouldn't believe, but I'll tell you what, I bet it's the... Uh, I bet it's the smallest whiting ever. <laughs> Normally the case, you get a big fish, they don't like knock that much. You get a little fish, they flap around. Let's keep an eye on it. If it goes again, we'll reel that in. But it was a good knock anyway. Are you going to go again or have you gone camera shy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, that's quivering. Right, let's add that in. Let's add him in. Well, when I first reeled it in, it felt like they were sounding really decent on it, it sounded really heavy. And then as it started coming in closer and closer, all of a sudden it just went off and it went slack. And then looking at my bait down here, look at that bit of squid, look. I reckon he just sort of had hold of that as I was reeling him in. And this has got nearer and nearer, it's just tugged, it's pulled it off. Right, let's get this one freshly baited up. Um, words come down the beach that a ray has come out right up the top end of the beach. Word has made its way down that a ray's come out, so the rays are about. Um, I was getting a bit worried about my bait situation now. I think I've got about four or five whole squid left. I've got a few squid heads, but I'm not really a fan of using the heads. But it's looking like towards the end of the match, I might have to. We've still got an hour and 15 minutes of this competition to go. Um, I've got no mackerel left, that's all done. I think I've got two of those blacks left, the worms. And like I say, I've got about four whole squid left. Um, <laughs> I just hope I've got enough bait to last me to the end of the match. <laughs> Oh, another really fat dab just come out. Whiting is absolutely tiny. It's going to go straight back in. Yeah, but I'm keep 
an eye because these waves are coming up. Um, Tiny. Oh, look at this dab. Dab, 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 boom. Right, get him on my board. And we get him down flat. He's another 25er. Oh, look at these waves. Man, look, I've still got about another 45 minutes to wipe tide yet. And I'm only here, and the bloody waves are crashing there. I might get wiped out here. Right, let's get him uh, measured up by matey up there. Right, I've got a little bit of a mess down here. I've just pulled in a dab. Ain't a bad size. It's definitely uh, measurable. I've bought in whatever the hell that is. Um, I've also bought in all this line, which I believe is what I got snagged up with earlier. Um, right, let's get that fish off, we're getting weighed in and then we'll come and try and untangle all this that's going on and get that shell fish thing off. <laughs> right, well I got the dab measured up, it was 24 centimetres, that gave me 14 points. That's put me on a total of 196, just four points shy of that 200. Uh, mate, your next door, absolutely smashing it. He just pulled out a 32 centimetre white in, he just pulled out a 34 centimetre white in. He is absolutely smashing it. Um, all that line that I reeled in that I got what I lost earlier, all wrapped round my trace, all wrapped round the weight, all wrapped round the hooks. Oh, but it was an absolute mess. So I just had to put a whole new trace on there. I've got no more free hook flapper traces made up. I've only got two hook flappers. So that's what I've put on. Um, which probably ain't a bad idea because like I say I'm running low on bait anyway. Um, what is the time now? Right, it's quarter to two. So we've got 15 minutes till high tide. And we've got an hour and 15 minutes till the end of the match. Um, I'm not going to come nowhere in this match. I knew I weren't this morning. <laughs> I knew I weren't. It was literally, just, I ain't fished a match for ages. I enjoy fishing them. You get talking to other anglers. And I say, I'm looking forward to going up in the car park after. I'll get a chance to a few people when they're doing the old uh, presentations and all that. Um, like I say, some people were absolutely rinsing it out here today. Absolutely. Um, I'm hoping there's people that are on a bit lower than me. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not in last place. <laughs> but you never know, do you? You just never know. I probably am. I probably am in last place out of, I don't know what, 28 anglers. I don't know if they reveal every single position. I don't know. Hopefully they don't. Because uh, my face is going more redder than it goes when it's in the sun. Oh well. Let's carry on. Well, I've just had a little pouting out. He literally was little, he was 18 centimetres, which is the minimum size, I believe. <laughs> um, I got eight points for him. So that puts me on 204 points total. Right, I broke the 200, which is good. I doubt very much I'll break 300, but I broke the 200. Uh, time is now literally a couple of minutes until two o'clock. So that is pretty much high tide. Um, so yeah, we have got an hour of this competition left. Well, it's half past two, so we have got a half hour of this competition left. It's got a little bit quiet for me. I've had a couple of knocks here and there, and I've reeled in, there's been nothing on there. But I've just pulled in a little dab, it was 22 centimetres, and he got me 10 points. So I am now on 214. I think the guy next to me is on 360. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely slaughtered down here today. Still a good day, I'm enjoying it. Isn't it? I mean, how can you go wrong? You're on the beach sun's out you're fishing catching fish and like i've been here all day in blanks at least i've been catching but uh still half hour to go yet who knows well it's just coming up to quarter to three um i've just cast out fresh bait on there nice bits of like fat squid i've put on there cast it out this will probably be my last cast of the day um and start getting my bits together now start packing down and i'll say it finishes in 15 minutes three o'clock and um, then obviously then we'll all go up to the car park and they'll do the presentation to the winner, who has probably got about 600 odd points. And at the moment, I'm still on my 214 points. But you never know, on this last cast, I might get a couple of nice fat whiting out. At least to give me a few more points on there, wouldn't it? Better than nothing. So we will see, we'll see what happens. 
Oh, well, there we go. Look, just put out another little fat boy white in. Right, I'm going to get him off. We get the points written down. And then I think that's pretty much it going to be it then. I think that's pretty much the end of the competition. We'll, uh, we're going to see who's won. Right, I got him measured up. He was 28 centimetres, which gave me 16 points. So that has put me on a total for this competition of 230 points. Which I guarantee is probably last place. <laughs> Well, I don't think I've done as bad as I thought. Um, heading up to the car, I drop all the gear off, chatting to a few of the anglers walking up. I was just chatting to Glenn. Um, he only got 140 points. And uh, yeah, he's quite a good angler. I remember seven, eight, nine years ago, 10 years when they when Gorston Tackle Centre used to do the big competition in November and you'd have 80 odd, 90 odd anglers. I mean, I remember him, I think one year he come first in that. I remember him placing in it. I definitely remember him coming in the top threes and all that in a couple of years when they used to do them. So he's quite a good angler. And he only got 140 odd points. And then another guy that was walking up, I just heard him mention he got 180 odd points. Um, what did I finish on? 230. So I don't think I've done as bad as I thought I did. Definitely haven't come last anyway, that's for sure. But anyway, just getting all the gear in the car now. Everyone's just packing all their stuff. We're going to walk down now and... Uh, yeah, we're here the final outcome. We'll see exactly how many. I wouldn't be surprised if the winner got five, six hundred points. I really wouldn't be surprised. But we'll, uh, we'll find out in a second. We'll take a walk down and we'll see what's going on. Right, that is it. We're all done. Everyone's handed their cards in. Uh, a lot of the guys didn't even turn up. They got low. Do you know what? I've done better than I thought. I sort of come about mid-range. I think there was 23 or 25 anglers in the end. Uh, the winner was 568 points, I believe. Something like that off the top of my head. 567 points for the winner. Um, quite a few of the guys I was chatting to, they're like, how'd you get on? I went, absolutely terrible. I'm like 214 points. And they're like, mate, I had 190, 180s, 140s, 150s, 160s. I actually come on top of quite a few people there. So, yeah, not as bad as I thought. So I think I might have come about mid range -ish, something like that, which is good. I'm happy with that. Look, I'm smiling now more half hour ago. I was thinking of tying some bricks to my feet and jumping in that sea, but now I'm all happy, now I'm smiling. Awesome day, chatting to a few of the guys, quite a few of them recognise me off YouTube. They're all like, oh, you're doing a video? And I'm like, yep, yeah, I filmed it while I was fishing, that'll be going on today. A uh, really nice bunch of guys. No one makes you feel out of place, no one makes you feel awkward. Everyone's all chatting away. Really friendly bunch, so it was good. Like I say, and that's the kind of competition it is. It's not like, a, like, like when you've got like Norfolk Angling Club and some of the big clubs, they have serious, serious competitions. This is like I say, it's just like a bit of a friendly get together, all for local anglers. No one's travelled hours now, everyone's kind of local, do you know what I mean? It's all like Galston, Yarmouth sort of people. It's, uh, yeah, it's spot on. Just what was needed. It's been a while since I've done a competition, got involved in something like that. So, uh, yeah, please, I've done it. Like I say, good, good group of lads. Hopefully I can get some more weekends booked off work and fish some more of them. Um, so there you go. Right, massive thanks for watching the video guys and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.